Before we get into this video, I want to go over the top comments from yesterday's video. You guys posted some excellent comments, and unfortunately, I can't go through every single one. I'm just going to pick some top of the most awesome of the awesome comments. Nick Payne 22098 says, Honestly, you're the only real Yugi tuber. Seeing as we came up from similar backgrounds, I see myself coming more to your channel as opposed to other channels. Listening to your parts of your life story, that was the realest shit I've seen from a Yu-Gi-Oh content creator. Think I've subbed to you for a year for a year now or so and I feel like you should be at way more than 17k subs Definitely got my friends to sub that infernoid deck profile you made has worked numbers so far in my testing The best thing is that you're interactive with your subs. Keep up the amazing work much love Thank you so much Nick Payne 22098 I've been doing this for quite some time and I think that the uh, story of the Cali effect showing you guys my life story has been able to connect with you guys even better and I will continue to do that we slipped up on sunday it was my anniversary with me and me and my girlfriend but uh we're gonna get back to it this upcoming sunday which is tomorrow casey kelvin's corp says and here he is again telling us how it is to be done like the way you do those deck profiles sometimes i have to rewind to keep up now i what i have noticed from a lot of deck profiles and looking at other people's deck profiles is that sometimes they get a little boring so i do speak a little fast because i'm like damn i don't want y'all niggas to be sitting here all the time and i hope that you have the rewind to keep up isn't a bad thing for the people that just want the information and going Amanda Yarbrough says, you're one of the best YouTubers on YouTube. You were always happy and energetic. I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! when Lynx came out, not just because of Lynx, but the game got kind of out of hand with OP cards. But you helped me get back into the game, keep up the great work. I'm so excited that you're back into the Yu-Gi-Oh! card game, and we need more people that see Yu-Gi-Oh! in a positive light, just like you. It's pretty exciting to know that there are people that I have helped back into the game, and I hope to continue to help people back into the game and keep them into the game with this content before we get into the video another thing i want to mention is our top subscribers now these guys have either bought cards for me sold cards to me or are part of the patreon gang there are also a numerous other ways that you can get in the top subscriber group so make sure to keep an eye out for that and i hope to see many more to this list let's get right into the video good evening youtube you guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect, King of Games, and today we're going to be going over a very interesting deck profile. I actually wasn't going to call it competitive until I made some last minute adjustments and oh man, psh, this deck has been sauce. I've been actually playing or building this deck for quite some time so I'm pretty proud of it. This is a 60 card Cosmo Metal Foe True King Fire King deck, or True Draco Fire King deck, and it's very fun to play. I am excited to get you guys the deck profile, but before I can show you guys this sexy list, I need y'all to do something for me. Look, that subscribe button, done, all right? Y'all need to be smashed on it. She needs to be ran through. I have 17,000 subscribers. If we can get to 34,000 subscribers, that means that she holds the Guinness record for, I mean, I shouldn't have to go that far. And then her sister, psh, those notification squad people, y'all too strong down there. Just post down below in the description so I know you there. But without further ado, I present to you a Cosmo True Draco Metal Foe Fire King deck profile. I said it all right. I did it right. All right, guys. Starting off with the monsters, um, one copy of Dark Destroyer. Uh, if this card was at three, I probably would just be running Cosmo. Its abilities are insane. Being able to destroy a monster on the field upon summoning, and it's an untargetable 3,000 attack ship. Card's really good. Two copies of Cosmo Forerunner now. Its effects actually come in handy. During your standby phase, you can gain 1,000 life points, which actually, like I said, it comes in clutch sometimes. It's also a non-targetable ship, but the biggest thing is that it is a bigger than level 6 ship, so it can tutor any of our lower ships to our side of the field. Two copies of Cosmo Dogfighter. For the longest, I was actually running the other Cosmo monster, Landwalker, as a level 6 Cosmo monster. But I think this card has more utility because it special summons tokens to your side of the field. So if your opponent gets rid of your Dark Destroyer or Cosmo 4, runner uh you special summon this and then do, during your turn you gain a token which you could use for a link summon two copies of cosmo delta shadow this card has never been more important being able to send a cosmo monster from your deck to the graveyard is bro it's just sauce it really is good uh targeting your opponent's monsters and decreasing their attack that's good 
but more often than not, we're going to use it on itself to get our combos rolling. Two copies of Cosmo Nip Slip. Now, this card, this card's pretty good. I actually really like Nip Slip. Being able to destroy back row um, on your opponent's side of the field, but even more importantly, you can sometimes destroy your spells and trap cards, which can trigger a lot of great combos. Two copies of Cosmo Dark Lady. Now, a lot of builds have only run one copy of Cosmo Dark Lady, but I run one, two, three, four, five, five ships that can tutor into her, and plus we have so many other combos to tutor into her. Her effect to negate monster effects, oh my, man, I'm telling you, this is probably the ace Cosmo monster out of all of them. Reason why we run these ships is so they can be destroyed. This card is going to sit on the board. Two copies of Cosmo Sword Troopers. This is another great way to tutor Cosmo Dark Lady to your side of the field. What you would do is activate Delta Shuttle, send the Dark Lady, destroy the Delta Shuttle, spell summon Sword Troopers, Sword Troopers, spell summon Dark Lady, so it's a free Dark Lady. Also, more importantly, he fuels so many combos into the deck. Three copies of Cosmo Straw Man. Now, Straw Man man is at three for a number of reasons but the 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 interaction with this card in fire king island and delta shadow man i'm telling you it is o g but more importantly being able to tutor monsters to your side of the field can contribute to link plays two copies of rare metal foes biz mcgear that's it for the cosmos we run 16 this card when destroyed tutors us a metal foe and the metal foes are pretty pivotal being able to destroy our cosmos ships or our field spells while on the field to tutorous cards to search or fusion summon. Two copies of Metal Foes Volflame. This is the big chunky monster. 2400 attack. You better watch out when he is summoned. He can run over monsters, but more importantly, he's an 8 scale. Two copies of Metal Foes Stealing. I'm not a huge fan of Stealing, but he's almost a must inside of this deck, seeing that he is our only high scale that is a painful decision target. Three copies of Stealing, or I'm sorry, Metal Foes Silverit. Now, Silverit is a low level scale, but it's, it fits so well into the deck being a level three monster, tutoring those rank three plays. Three copies of Gold Driver. I still think this is one of the best metal foes being a level one monster or a level four monster and a level or i'm sorry a scale one is just awesome to the deck it brings so much utility uh that's it for the metal foe monsters it's 12 of them for the true drago we run two copies of masterpiece so my logic is i run three full metal foes combination or metal foes combination and i also run one disciples the odds of me being able to summon all three masterpiece off of that it's just not going to happen. So I cut Masterpiece down to two to run one copy of True King Agnizimit the Vanisher. Now, I run 12 Fire Monsters that you guys are seeing, not to mention the Fire King Monsters as well. This card triggers so many awesome things. Like, it's just... It's nutty. Sometimes you need an extra destruction. Sometimes you actually need to banish opponent's cards. This card does it all. It's all in one. That's it for the True Draco, True King variant. I guess you could call it Cosmo, Metal Foe, True Draco, True King, and Fire King. But we run one copy of Fire King, Avatar, Yaksha. This in combination with Agnizimit allows you to destroy two cards. Initially for the Agnizimit deck to destroy one of your ships. And then Yaksha can destroy another ship. Yaksha is also another Fire King name. More on that later one copy of fire king avatar garunix this level three chicken i'm telling you is good for this deck at first i wasn't playing it and just by me switching to play this card i really think that this can be a very competitive deck last is one copy of fire king avatar can i put it right here up oh, right here all right one copy of fire king avatar arvata we run a lot i think it's 15 15 fire monsters and fire king avatar avata can not only negate our opponent's monster effects all i have to do is destroy a fire monster so if my pendulum monsters are on the field that is so free my fire king monsters such as uh yaksha free because it can destroy another card on the field and then of course the lovable black wing gofu would be playing more copies but it is uh, limited to one it's a free link play lastly we play three copies of ash blossom now the only reason why i said 15 instead of 18 fire monsters is because some people can't afford ash blossoms so what i would play is ghost ogre and snow rabbit instead for you budget players that's it for the monsters at a whopping grand total of 38 monsters i know it's a huge engine but all of these cards run so smoothly together so let me just scoop all of this it's gonna look all weird like argh. let me just scoop all that together for the spells, three copies of Dragonic Diagram. Now, Diagram not only can tutor Masterpiece to our hand, but the True King Agnizimit to our hand for easy destructions 
or the summon of a huge masterpiece monster. Three copies of Fire King Island. Now we run three targets for exactly three copies of Fire King Island. I don't expect to see all three Fire King Islands, but I am prepared. More importantly, it allows us to destroy monsters from our field or our hand, or cards from our field or our hand. So many awesome plays with this card. Three copies of Cosmo Town. Now you guys are like, damn, Kelly Effect, you really run it all three of each? Yes. First of all, Cosmo Town, when destroyed, searches a Cosmo monster. So effectively, with so much destruction that we have in this deck, it's literally a reinforcement of the army for any Cosmo monster I need. Nextly, it fuels a lot of combos and adds Cosmo monsters that are banished to my hand, as well as giving me a reset. It allows me to shuffle Cosmo monsters from my hand to my deck for free draws. Next is three copies of Terraforming. I don't ever see this card being dead. Literally. You can draw a handful of field spell cards and all three of your terraformings are still live afterward. Like, it's just a really good card for searching your field spells. So yes, we're pretty upset that set rotation is at one. We do run one copy. Um, set rotation was really good because we can still run this nine, give them a Cosmo Town, destroy it with Slip Rider and still gain an effect, or give them Fire King Island, destroy it with Slip Rider and destroy all of their monsters because of it. Unfortunately, set rotation is at one, but that's still not bad. You know, we can still activate set rotation to tutor the field spell card we need to our hand. Next is one copy of Disciples of the Draco Phoenix. I have not to date used its effect to shuffle, but in the case that we do have it, it's there. Next, the most important thing is that it can make Masterpiece unaffected by spells. So you guys think about that. Sometimes you might need that Masterpiece unaffected by spells. And it's another target for Diagram to search. So effectively, we can use Diagram's effect to search four times. One copy of Emergency Teleport. Not only are our Cosmos Soar Troopers and our straw man target but so are some of our metal foe monsters and i know now that i'm thinking about it some of you guys are like why aren't you running 10 can 10 can's trash in this deck why aren't you running farm girl farm girl's mediocre because it requires you to enter your battle phase now the reason why i say 10 can isn't as great in this deck is because adding cosmo monsters from my deck to my hand that's perfect but the fact that i have to wait till end phase and on top of that, Cosmo Monsters go to the graveyard. I want them in hand so I can destroy them or Pendulum Summon them. It's just very subpar. One copy of Metal Foes Fusion. I mean, it's kind of obvious when you're running Metal Foes Monsters and you want a Fusion Summon. Full Metal Foes Fusion actually takes the forefront over Metal Foes Fusion because it allows me to fuse on my opponent's turn. Two copies of Painful Decision to search my trap cards or I'm sorry, my Metal Foes monsters, and obviously three copies of Metal Foes combination. This is the star of the deck. This actually allows a lot of combos to tie in. It being destroyed allows you to search Metal Foes monsters, or it being tributed for a Masterpiece because it is a continuous spell, and being able to be banished by Masterpiece. It ties in the True Draco and Metal Foes engine with the Cosmos and Fire Kings. It's just really awesome. This card melds the deck together. So that's it for the spells and traps. It's 19 spells, three traps to put you at 22 for a 60 card deck i wouldn't cut a single card out of it because all of them are just so awesome i tried playing a 40 card variant i tried playing a 50 card variant just went right back up to 60 because there's so many awesome combos with this deck that's it for the main deck for the extra deck two couples of uh, copies of metal foes myth -rillium. okay you can't say myth -rillium. you gotta say myth Rillium or Myth Trillium. This card is gonna just it's gonna wipe your opponent's board, and then when it leaves the field, it tutors a metal full monsters. One full metal alchemist. I just like calling him full metal alchemist. He snatches your opponent's monster. It's like a big eye. Like instead of taking your bitch, I take your bitch and I attach her to me. Like she become a part of me. Is that like marriage? Never mind, that's, that's not as good as taking your bitch. One copy of Metal Foes Ori Calc. When this card is destroyed, you get to destroy a card on your opponent's side of the field. Also inflicts piercing damage, so it's a really good card. That's it for the fusions, for the exceeds. The Cyber Dragon Infinity combo, really easy to make, seeing that we have four targets, and very crucial to some of our combos. The Utopia package, I figured out when playing Metal Foes, if you're going to run a rank, rank four, you're going to want to run the Utopia package, mainly because Metal Foes have a hard time with dealing with bigger threats that can't be targeted or unaffected by card effects so just make utopia lightning and run over that bitch don't even be worried one copy of the phantom knight's break sword this card's really good for clearing boards and destroying your own cards possibly a combo cosmo ship or a uh metal foes combination to gain you additional effects 
Levy Air, it's pivotal for the combo, but really good at special summoning monsters to your side of field that are banished. Cough, cough, little cosmos. One copy of Herald of Pure Light. This card is really good, especially in combination with the Straw Man, and allows you to tutor whatever you send with your Cosmo Dark Ship or the level five ship, I forget his name right now, Delta Shadow, to your hand. One code, copy of Biko Bulker to start off the links is just dick and back being boo. Best link right now. Okay, it's not the best, but it's still good. One copy of Gaia Saber, an alternative for when you guys don't want to give your opponent an extra link zone. Proxy Dragon and one copy of Link Spider. Link Spider is really good with the deck because it allows you to special special summon, excuse me, uh, a normal monster. And 12 of your 60 or 12 of your 38 monsters are normal. So, or actually it's not even 12, 10, but it's still really good. That's it for the extra deck at what I hope is 15. If I'm at 14, I'm goofing. If I'm at 13, I'm scrubbing. For the side deck, three copies of Psy Blocker. Now, this is how we out evenly match. We summon him, declare evenly match, make our board, and be like, go ahead, nigga. It also gets over cards like Anti-Spell Fragrance and other pivotal cards that just lock us out of playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Three copies of Droll and Lockbird. Budget alert, budget alert. Uh, don't play Joel and Lockbird if you're on a budget, unless you have them. I mean, if you have them, then I, I don't think you're on a budget. But a good option for Joel and Lockbird, I would say Cypher and Gamma, but those went up in price too. But, um, damn, what is a good option? Let me see if I can find something for y'all young units. I would say, no, I got Solemn Strike for something else. Fuck, you guys will figure something out. It'll be down below in the description when I ever figure something out. Three copies of Jinzo. Not only is this also a counter to evenly match, it destroys trap-based decks. And it's very easy to summon, seeing that this is a pendulum-based deck. You can just pendulum summon that nigga. Like, it don't even matter. Also, use side blocker to call Dimensional Barrier when I know that they're siding in Dimensional Barrier. Or, you know, Ash Blossom, so I don't get stopped from searching. Three copies of Evenly Matched, the card of the hour. This card allows you to just out-advantage your opponent when going second. And all you have to do is give up your battle phase. Not really hard for the deck to do. Two copies of my spicy tech, Storm. Destroying your own cards never felt so good, especially since you can gain their effects through combination and wipe your opponent's back. Or after you pendulum summon once or twice with your Metal Foes monsters, you don't really necessarily need them. Don't get me wrong, they're still nice to have, but getting rid of my opponent's back row is even better. And then... Excuse me, one copy of Raigeki for board clearance. That is it for the main board, the sideboard, and the extra deck. Let's get you guys to a combo tutorial. Cosmo True Draco Metal Foe Fire King True King is a deck that really depends on your hands. Like, there's so many combos and anomalies with this deck because everything meshes so well. I'm going to be showing you three awesome combos. We're going to start off with the longest combo so I don't forget it. It's going to require Bisma Gear or any Metal Foes monster for that choice. We're going to say Bisma Gear because it's so saucy. Diagram, Fire King Island, and Cosmo Town. What you are going to do is activate the Cosmo Town and the Rare Metal Foes Bisma Gear to your side of the field you're going to destroy the cosmo town to add a metal or i'm sorry a where's that card you are going to add a dog fighter is it dog fighter i'm going to destroy once twice i think yeah i'm pretty we're going to say dog fighter you're going to add dog fighter from your deck to your hand and you're also going to set the full metal foes combination i'm just going to keep it face up for you guys Next, you are going to activate the Fire King Island and use its effect to destroy the Dogfighter. I'm just going to put it in a bandage zone right now. And that is going to add you the Fire King Avatar Arvata from your deck to your hand. Dogfighter is going to trigger its effect and that is going to special summon... Where is that card? Cosmo Delta Shuttle to your side of the field. Use the effect of Delta Shuttle to send... What do I say? What do I say? To send Cosmo Dark Lady from your deck to your graveyard, targeting itself. Now you're going to destroy the Fire King Island by activating the effects of Dragonic Diagram. Since Fire King Island was destroyed, Cosmo Delta Shuttle gets destroyed and it activates its effect. Going ahead and allowing you to special summon... Where is it? Cosmo Sword Troopers to your side of the field. Sword Troopers at the cost of a thousand life points gonna special summon you Cosmo Dark Lady and Diagram's gonna destroy your Metal Foes combination to add, uh, where's that card? Oh, where is it at? Where is it at? Show me what you got. Where's that card? That is going to add Masterpiece. That's actually what I'm thinking. Use the effect of Metal Foes combination to add the other scale from your deck to your hand. We're just gonna add Metal Foes Gold Driver. Activate it into your scale. Now, 
Seeing that I didn't do it as I wanted to, I actually would have spelled some of the six, the six, the two, to the five, so on and so forth. We would have been able not to destroy any of these cards and maintain our advantage, but I'm just going to go ahead and play through the misplay because that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to use the gold driver to destroy. Actually, no, I need this. I'm going to use the gold driver to destroy the Bismagear gear to set another copy of my full or my metal foes combination. My apologies. I actually did need this. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you don't do that yet. You're going to Pendulum Summon the Fire King Avatar Avanza. That's what I thought. Then you're going to use the Gold Driver to destroy it to set the combination. Next, you're going to Tribute the Sword Troopers and the combination to summon the Masterpiece. Combination effect is going to activate to search you a, a Metal Foes monster, which is going to give you the destruction for the Arvata. That's why I didn't summon a bigger ship and then tune it all the way down. I have to destroy the Bismuth Gear to search me the monster to be able to destroy with the Arvata. This will be a high scale in case I don't have to use Arvata's effect so I can activate it and Pendulum Summon again. Next combo we're going to be talking about it's going to require Dragonic Diagram, one Cosmo ship that we're going to use Forerunner, and it's also going to require one Metal Foes monster. What we're going to end up with is Masterpiece and Cosmo Dark Lady. You're going to start off by activating Dragonic Diagram, destroying our Cosmo Forerunner to add Masterpiece from our deck to our hand. Next, we're going to activate the effects of Forerunner. That's going to go ahead and summon, where is that monster? Cosmo Delta Shadow. Delta Shadow is going to activate its effect, sending Dark Lady to our graveyard, and you're going to activate Metal Foes Gold Driver, destroying your Delta Shadow. Let me go ahead and banish it to set a Metal Foes combination to your side of the field. Now, follow with me now. We're doing some stuff. Uh, Delta Shadow's effect is going to activate to summon the Cosmo Sword Trooper. Sword Trooper pays a thousand life points to summon the Dark Lady. You're going to tribute both the combination and the Sword Trooper for the Masterpiece. Combinations effect is going to activate to add you a Metal Foes scale from your deck to your hand, which will complete your Pendulum Summon if you have other cards to play with. This deck, this combo is awesome, but now enough with the chit chat combos, I'm going to show you guys the combo. This combo is just, it's saucy, all right? And it's a lot of steps, so Amber, just try to, try to bear back there. It's going to require one Cosmo monster that is level six or higher. It has to be a ship. One Cosmo Slip Rider and one Fire King Island. What you're going to do is activate Fire King Island, destroying the Dogfighter. I'm just going to go ahead and banish it. And with that, you are going to add, you're going to, you won't believe which monster is the most important card to this deck right now. It's 60 cards, so I got to do a lot of rifting and raffling through it. It is the baby chicken. Add the chicken to your hand. Activate the effect of Dogfighter 2 Special Summon to your side of the field. One copy of Cosmo Strawman. Where the hell is that Strawman? I should really lay this out better. Use the effect of Cosmo Strawman to summon Dogfighter. And then use Cosmo Strawman's effect to banish itself to Special Summon Slip Rider. Slip Rider is going to destroy the Fire King Island, which is going to destroy both of your ships. So banish both of your ships to Special Summon another copy of Strawman and Cosmo Delta Shadow. Delta Shadow is going to activate its effect targeting... Wait, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're going to special summon sword troopers. I'm, I apologize. You're going to activate the effect of Delta Shadow targeting himself to send Cosmo Strawman to your graveyard. Then activate the sword troopers to pay a thousand life points to special summon Strawman. Now you're going to use the effect of Strawman to summon the dogfighter. I'm pretty sure that's it. Now, all those monsters have been pretty much summoned, and we haven't used our normal summon yet. So normal summon the Fire King Avatar Garunix, and then XC summon. I know you're like, dang, Callie, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to make Levier the Sea Dragon. Use the effect of Levier the Sea Dragon detaching Sword Troopers to special summon the next copy of Strawman. Strawman effect to special summon the Slip Rider, and then both Strawmans and the Levier to make the B-Cold Bulker just bicking back being boo next you're going to use both the slip rider and the delta shuttle to make your cyber dragon infinity from your cyber dragon and nova on your end phase dogfighter is going to destroy itself and then that's going to be able to summon a cosmo dark lady so that's how you're going to end up board with a cyber dragon infinity and a cosmo dark lady with a beak hope bulker on your side of the field this deck is just really good thank you guys so much for watching another segment of the cali effect there have been confirmed deck profiles paleozoic and abc and a couple of other decks i want to know which deck do you guys think is going to be seen thank you guys so much for watching again please like comment subscribe but most of all enjoy